Hello, my name is Trey Wilkins. What can I change? Hopefully the lighting looks better. I've got the, the white light down, okay? So hopefully we can start making some better videos. And this looks a little bit smoother, a little bit crispier. I like it so far. So let's go ahead and get into this. So Miss Sophie Turner says that she divorced Joe Jonas. Let's get right into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sophie Turner, 27, felt trapped in her marriage to Joe Jonas and wants to relive her youth after marrying her children young. Friends say as she downs shots at the, uh, I don't know what that is, cocktails in Birmingham days before singer, 34, filed for divorce. Sophie Turner felt trapped in her marriage to Joe Jonas and regretting missing out on her youthful carefree years after tying the knot with him uh, and hope. And having two children at a young age, a close friend has told Mel Online. So we're going to listen. Obviously, this could be true. This could not be true. But what we are going to talk about is that the let's say it is true. So let's go off of that. So should people get married and then get divorced because they're not having enough fun? They're not having a good time. Life is rough. Listen, this is what I always talk about, and I'm going to talk about it again. When it comes to divorce and it comes to sacrifice and it comes to marriage, enough people don't want to do it. If she's really saying that she wants to relive her youth, like relive it. How can you relive your youth? It's over. See, everybody wants to stay in this this um, this fantasy world that you can always go back. You know what I mean? You know what you sound like, Sophie, if this is true. You know what? Let's just keep Sophie out of it. Any woman who says something like this is 27 years old and older and said that they want to relive their youth. You know what you sound like? You sound like the loser jock in high school that was good at football. That's what you sound like. You sound like a loser. Relive your youth. Does your life suck that bad? You want to go back to when you were younger and do what exactly? Go get drunk, get high, go shopping. What can you do? At, at you're 27 years old what can you do that when you were younger that you can't do now in marriage what can you not do you could i mean if you heck you still want to drink you can still drink you can still go out with your friends you can still i mean your kids aren't going anywhere so you can't like pretend life is not is not there without them anymore so what are you going to go relive in your youth but i also want to have this conversation from women who do this when they're older women who get in their 30 who get to about 35 get to 40 and they're like i just want to live young i just want to be free it's the dumbest thing i've ever heard it's like you know in this life life has to go on you have to move on i get sometimes wanting to maybe relive a memory and you can do that for a day go to your old soccer field go to your old football field when you were young maybe go to the old gym you used to go to relive it for a couple days but to relive it every day for the rest of your life see one thing i've noticed even for myself it's when I find myself ever thinking about, you know, maybe I want to, I think to myself, man, I wish I could go back. I think that for maybe a couple, maybe a day. And then I'm like, go back for what? The only reason I want to go re relive my youth, because I'm assuming from this point forward, life will get no better and it's going to suck from this point forward. Oh, because I can't necessarily do this, right? Oh, I can't get drunk anymore. I got a family now. I Listen, I made the choice to do this. I don't want to go back. I'm being honest with you. Like, there's days I think about the, t the good times that I had, but there's also not the greatest times I had when I was young, right? My life is better than it was when I was young. And if your life sucks worse than when you were young, you screwed up somewhere, right? If your life is, it, it, she mentioned in this thing, or the friend said, allegedly, she wants to live carefree. You can't, baby girl. You have kids, so what's this? I mean, who? I, I don't understand. What? Why would you want to live carefree? What does that even mean anymore? You're an adult now. What are you supposed to go do to live care? You're gonna go live back with your mom and have no rent? Not you gonna go? You gonna go give your baby up for adoption? And what does carefree mean? Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Back to where you live with your parents, where you were hating it, and you were wishing every day you could be on your own. And then as soon as you get on your own, you want to live carefree. Are you, you still have to make money uh, unless somebody's providing money for you, right? Unless your ex-husband or whatever's going on, unless your husband's still providing for your money, but you already had that in marriage. So what's different? I don't get it. What is carefree? Whaley was what I'm hearing is she wants to go out and I could be wrong, but she wants to go out and have fun. 
She wants to go back out and date guys. She wants to go out, maybe sleep with other guys and do all this. Baby, you are a mother. People who go through these midlife crises is such a tough thing. And at 27, this is what I see a lot more. Midlife crisis, I think, used to believe used to happen around 35, 40, somewhere in there. Now it happens at 25. People going through midlife crisis at 25, they're like, oh, I can't believe I'm not in high school. I'm not as pretty. I feel like I'm about to die. I'm about to be 30. It's like, for real? You've lived 25 years and you already feel like life is over? 18 of those years were spent in high school. So you've been in the adult world for less than 10 years and you're already ready to give up on life and go back to getting drunk every night like a teenage girl. Go, and that's what she does in the thing. She downs a shot. Oh, I'm so cool. I downed a shot at 27 years old. Man, I'm, I'm the coolest person on earth. Women, men, this is why you got to watch who your friends are. This is why you need to make older friends too. Don't just hang out with people your age. Hang out with people who are in their 40s, 50s, right? And if you're in your 40s and 50s, hang out with people who are in their 70s, 80s. Because what you don't ever want to get to is this place of always wanting to go back. Because if you hang out with people your own age who aren't doing anything you're doing, they're not mother. They've never been a mother. They're not married, and they don't. They're not um, a parent. Of course, they're going to tell you, "Hey, come out with us and come party tonight," because they're they're living like kids still, right? But if you hang out with people who are older, who do have families, who do have lives, you can look forward to stuff. You can be like, "Oh, okay, my life isn't over if I have a kid. My life isn't over if I'm married." Ten years from now. Oh, I'm still I can still be making money. Oh, look at all this other mature stuff I can do instead of going to the club and bumping and grinding. Maybe I can just go to a lounge, maybe have one nice cigar, maybe just have a nice drink and not have to get drunk. Right. Or just not drink at all. Whatever you want to do. But there's more mature things to do in life than just bumping and grinding every night and taking shots like a like a uh, like you just turned 21. People don't want to sacrifice anything. I don't know why people want to stay kids. I get that. Sometimes you look around in society. It's like, man, it's so weird. I just want to be carefree. I just want to live. Nope, that's dead, buddy. I, I have more respect for people who just take it. You just be like, oh, man, life kind of sucks, but I got to keep moving. I got to keep it moving forward. I got to keep growing up. I'm going to st- keep teaching the people, keep teaching the younger generation, keep teaching the kids, keep doing this stuff. Instead of somebody says, oh, I just want to give it all up. I just want to go to work and come home and eat ice cream and watch Netflix all night and get drunk on the weekends. It's like, I mean, come on, man. You got kids. Can you just grow up? Just grow up and think about somebody besides yourself. Let it go. You're no longer the high school jock. Let it go. You're no longer the high school cheerleader, baby. Let it go. You're no longer in college. Miss, you know, dating every guy every night, dating every girl every night, having fun every night. Let it go. Let me know what y'all think. I just think it's ridiculous that we have to keep living as kids for the rest of our days. It's not that fun. Guys. It's not that fun to go get drunk on the weekends. It's really not that fun. Getting high with your friends every night and then going to Taco Bell at 2 a.m. in the morning is not that fun. Okay? It is just not what people make it seem like. People, y'all watch the internet and see people having fun and think that's every day. I can tell you, as a person who at one point in my life, when I first moved, right, when I moved to a new state, um, I lost my job, right? I got laid off, right, because I moved to another state. Right. And it took me three months to get a job. You know how boring that was? I could do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. We had the money to just chill. And that's what I did every day. I just chilled. It took me about two or three weeks. And I'm like, man, this sucks. Right. I'll use this quote from Skip Bayless that I've always liked. And this he actually said this quote after the fact, but it resonated me when he said it. He said, I like having a piece of I like having a slice of pizza. Every Friday night with my wife, I like sitting down on Friday nights and watching a movie with my wife. But I don't want to sit down and have a slice of pizza and watch a movie every night with my wife. Every night. It's the fact that I do that only on Friday nights that makes it special. When I get to do whatever I want every single day, it gets boring. Right. Even if I'm just paying the bills. Right. Even if I'm not necessarily going on vacation. What if I'm just chilling? It's not that fun, man. I don't know why people love that life and think they want to live like a teenager, like a teenage kid where they don't have to worry about bills or anything. It's boring. It's just boring to me. I like having challenge. I like having to maybe wake up to go to the gym. I like having to wake up and go to work. I like having 
a set schedule. I like having to discipline myself to something because when I don't have the discipline and there's nothing going on and I can just be free. That's why when you see these young kids who are young, that was stupid to say, when you see these young people in their 20s, right? And what they dream of is being a millionaire and just going on vacation every day. How often do you see millionaires really do that? In reality, if you really met a millionaire, are they only vacationing every single second they get? Or are they trying to find more ways to make more money to continue to help their family? They're still working around the clock. They're still working 60-hour weeks. They're still always on the phone. They're always trying to make it happen. That's what businessmen used to be represented. When you used to watch movies back in the day or you used to watch TV shows, what did the businessman always look like? Even if he was wealthy, you always saw him with a briefcase with like a Bluetooth in his ear going, yeah, Billy, we got to do more. We got to do more. We got to get the stocks up. We got to do this. We got to do that. You always saw them as busy. But now we have transitioned to being a millionaire just means going to every place on the in the country not and not doing anything to keep your money moving right you just make one move and you make a million dollars and you stop and you just oh i'm just gonna go swimming every day i'm just gonna go do anything i want to i'm gonna go find a van and live in it and it's just like that's not what happens normally people who make money want to make more money because you know it's better than money more money right you know what's good what's better than financial security more financial security and some people need that because y'all heard the saying Right. If you have these idle hands, I'm not saying it verbatim, but the idle hand makes for the devil's playground, man. When you got nothing to do with your hands, that's when people fall into addiction. When you got nothing to do with your hands, that's when people fall into drugs. When you got nothing to do with your hands, that's when people fall into trouble because you need something to constantly keep you going. Because if you don't, you will get bored. And when you get bored, you want to get drunk. And when you get drunk, you want to get high. And then you start falling into other drugs just to keep that excitement going, to keep you in this bliss. You need to, I'm not saying be a worker bot, but I'm saying keep yourself busy doing something. Go paint, go roller skating, go do something that you can, that gets your competitive juices going, whatever that is, whether that's YouTube, whether that's going bowling every day, whether that's working out, whether that's trying to look your best, eating the best, being the best, whatever that is, you just need something to keep you moving because going on vacations every single day, which is not going to be normal for the most of us, just isn't that great. So for Miss Turner, if this is true, baby girl, grow up, that life you think is so great taking shots. <laughs> is not that great. Peace.